Abide in Jesus, and ye shall receive power. This is your daily devotional reading. Empowered by the Spirit, September 8, Gideon. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent thee? And he said unto him, O my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. And the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee, and thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. Judges 6 verses 14 to 16 All the wonders which God has wrought for his people have been performed by the most simple means. When the people of God are wholly consecrated to him, then he will employ them to carry forward his work on the earth. But we should remember that whatever success may attend us, the glory and honor belongs to God, for every faculty and every power is a gift from Him. God will test to the utmost the faith and courage of those to whom He has entrusted responsibilities in His work. Appearances will often be forbidden. Although God has given repeated assurance of His help, yet faith will almost stagger. Thus saith the Lord, must be our firm reliance and dependent of human reasonings or apparent impossibilities. The experience of Gideon and his army was designed to teach a lesson of simplicity and faith. The leader whom God had chosen occupied no prominent position in Israel. He was not a ruler, a Levite, or a priest. He thought himself the least in his father's house. Human wisdom would not have selected him, but God saw in Gideon a man of integrity and moral courage. He was distrustful of self and willing to listen to the teachings of God and carry out his purposes. The Lord is not dependent upon men of high position, of great intellect, or extensive knowledge. Such men are frequently proud and self-sufficient. They feel themselves competent to devise and execute plans without counsel from God. They separate themselves from the true vine and hence become dry and fruitless as withered branches. The Lord will put to shame the vaunting of men. He will give success to the feeblest efforts, the most unpromising method, when divinely appointed and entered upon with humility and trust. Empowered by the Spirit, September 8th.